the studio it looks like it's nicely lit right now. Might be because of all the freaking ice that's raining out from the sky right now. And it starts hailing a lot. And it's a nice storm. Great! I love Canada. especially fashion related things because when you're on a tight budget you can't really go out and buy some clothes that you want and I've been kind of just internet shopping not really like internet window shopping just looking at stuff and not actually buying it because who has money for all that? Not me. And if you're watching me, I'm assuming that you guys aren't into like the super brand name stuff that's super expensive either because I don't have any of that stuff on my channel because I'm just not about that and I'm assuming you don't either because that's what you're watching, right? Okay, but anyways, I really wanted like a cute summer top and I wanted to play with like men's shirts more because it was a 50% off sale at Value Village. If you'd watched my haul, you would have known. And so I was like, all right, all right, I'm gonna buy a bunch and uh, see what I can make with it. Most of my inspiration was actually from a picture that I found online on Pinterest and I was like, I like that, I want that, it's probably expensive, so let's make that. And that's what I did. And it's this top over here, except since it's a men's shirt, I decided to take advantage of the buttons on the back and make it reversible. So you can wear it this way or the other way. Now, this was quite the learning process. I have a really long list of instructions of all the stuff that I did. So just watch until the end of the video because I did change up my methods of some of the things on this shirt closer to the end because I was like, hmm, I, it looks better this way, so I'm gonna change it. So uh, just keep watching till the end. Okay, so before we get into the DIY, I want you guys to comment down below and let me know how the weather is where you are because it is awful right now and I was driving outside earlier and it's very dangerous. <laughs> also, if you guys do want me to DIY things on a budget for anything that you see is really cool or anything, then feel free to send it to me on Instagram or Facebook and I'll reply to you as fast as I can. Alright, so let's get into this. First thing you need is a men's dress shirt, obviously, and try to find one without a pocket just to make things easier for you. I found one with a pocket. I wasn't paying attention because it was like 50% off value village, so I was like, mine, 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 not really paying attention to anything, but try to get one without a pocket. And also, if you're not really altering it beyond my instructions, then the bigger size that you get, the more, I guess, poofy and ruffly things that you're gonna get. Since mine came with pockets and I really didn't want pockets on this shirt and they were also in the way, I just took a seam ripper. You can take like really small scissors or something instead, like scissors to like cut your lashes or something. One of those tiny ones and kind of just seam rip it in, take it out. You will see like a little bit of a few holes here and there like from the stitching. You can try and iron it out. I did iron it a little bit and it did help, but it's not like anyone's gonna go up to your shirt and be like, hmm, I see little holes, you know? <laughs> Plus the shirt does have like a little bleach stain from whatever the previous owner did, but it's okay, you don't really notice it. Like these are just small details. Okay, so you're going to want to cut a line that's fairly straight. You want it curved up a little bit at the sleeves because the last time I did this, I didn't do it and it was kind of like a pain in the butt to do the sleeve part in terms of sewing it down and folding it over and all that stuff. So it does help to actually curve it up a little bit closer to the sleeves or shoulders, but you're just gonna wanna cut off the collar because that's in the way and we don't want it. Now with the raw edges at the top, you're going to want to fold it over once. It doesn't have to be a big fold. This is mainly just for like the hem and making sure that the ends don't really fray out. And then fold it over again about, I don't know, like an inch or so. I also chose the buttons to be on the side that I wasn't really gonna wear that often, so we're gonna call that the back side, even though it's reversible. So the back side is going to be the button side of the dress shirt, and so on the front side, I thought it was gonna be kind of plain, and I wanted to add like a little keyhole thing like right here with like a ribbon and everything, so I did cut out a V shape out of the middle, and then of course fold it over again, but you're also going to want to hem the V-shape so the little fibers don't fray or anything. So just fold it over a little bit and stitch like a hidden stitch. I hand stitched it, but obviously if you're using a sewing machine, it's gonna be a lot quicker. Just when you're hemming it, make sure that you're actually hemming the full on length of the V and not just like the folded loop that you made. <laughs> it's a little hard to explain in words, but you can kind of see from the video. 
Okay, so the lace thing that I'm using, I don't even think it's called lace, it's kind of like crochet lace, but I'm gonna call it lace for the simplicity of this. I used it from the dollar store and you could get one that's actually the proper size and everything to make your life a lot easier because it's not gonna fray everywhere and you're not gonna have to super secure it by hand sewing, but if you can, get actual sized lace. It's just, at the dollar store, I, I was calculating it and I'm like, it's cheaper to just buy the thicker one and cut it in half rather than paying a few more dollars, I guess, for the actual length one. So if possible, try and get the proper length if you can. If your lace isn't long enough, you can always sew together the ends and that way it becomes one super long length of lace. Okay, now with the lace, you're going to want to position it however you want it to peek out from the dress shirt. I chose to kind of like peek out half of it and try to keep it consistent and I just pinned it all down. And you're going to want to sew it right on, but I personally chose to sew it on the back flap only and not to like the entire fold just because I wanted to make sure I got as many <laughs> stitches in there because this was like really loose crochet lace and it was just a mess. You don't have to do that, you can actually sew it onto the fold if you want. When you're done with that, you're gonna wanna take some needle and thread and sew two straight lines just under the lace and the dress shirt, something big enough for the ribbon that you're going to be putting in later because you're essentially going to want to thread the ribbon through, at least that was my original intent. I won't lie, when it comes to doing this with dress shirts, the sleeves will be really awkward to sew, but just kind of pleat it a little bit so that it all kind of fits in there and it's not like super awkward and it still looks nice, but just remember it's going to be ruffled anyway so it doesn't have to look perfect. When you have your tube that's free, you can take your ribbon however length you want, you can measure it around yourself to check first, and then just attach a safety pin onto one end and thread it through all the way to the other end. If your ribbon is made out of synthetic materials, I don't know if all ribbon is made out of synthetic materials or not, but generally the ones from the dollar store are probably synthetic since they're so cheap. You can actually take a lighter and quickly just graze it a little bit just to melt the fibers at the end and so it's sealed and it's not gonna fray. By the way, if you're young, make sure you have an adult doing that with you because it's not my fault if you burn something down. Now you're just going to put the shirt on and see how short you want this to be because obviously it's going to be a cropped shirt. And at this moment, I was like, this is kind of annoying to have to readjust the back and the front and then the back ends up not ruffled and the front ends up super ruffled. And so at this point, I was trying to think of a solution, which is after I cropped it, I'll go into that later, but that's where I changed how I wanted to do the top. When you've marked off how cropped you want it to be, just take it off and just cut off all that fabric. Also, make sure that you do leave some seam allowance. I left a lot because I'd rather cut off too little than too much, especially since I'm so inexperienced at sewing, and this is why all my DIYs are so simple, because I'm still learning. Then just lay the dress shirt flat and fold up the ends in the same manner as the top. Now just take your lace and just line it however you want it to be, however much you want it to peek out, just like on the top, pin it in place if you need to. Now, when attaching this, at this time I was like, I'm not just going to sew it on the back end, I'm literally just going to sew it onto the fold or the hem, just because out of laziness. <laughs> now just take a thin piece of elastic and you can get this from the dollar store or local fabric store. I actually found out afterwards, the fabric store is cheaper by a few cents, so definitely check that out. Measure it around your waist or wherever you want the shirt to be cropped. Make sure it's pretty tight, not super tight, but comfortable and not too loose. And then just sew the ends of the elastics together so that you have one nice loop that fits quite comfortably around your waist. This is probably the most difficult part and it's actually stretching the elastic out so that it fits into the actual width of the shirt. And then you're just going to want to sew it in place like that. I just used the simple hidden stitch, same thing as normal. I actually found it easier to pin one side of the shirt to a chair or some type of, I don't know, soft thing that you can pin it to and then just take one foot or something and just stretch it out and that's how you would sew it on. If you're using a sewing machine, you're probably just going to want to sew as you stretch or stretch as you sew. Afterwards, I put it on just to see how I wanted the sleeves to be and how long I wanted it to be, but I just couldn't decide if I wanted it to have long sleeves or short sleeves, so I consulted you guys on my Instagram story 
So as I waited, I decided to actually change the top to be exactly the same as the bottom hem where it's stretchy and with an elastic because it's more, the ruffles are more even around if you use an elastic rather than just a ribbon that you're gonna pull up like a shoelace. So as I waited for the results, I decided to switch it. I took the ribbon out and cut it in half and then sewed it onto the ends of the shirt. That way I can still kind of give it like a tied effect, even though it's not actually tied. And then I did the same thing with measuring an elastic around my shoulders and I sewed it onto the shirt the same way that I sewed the bottom which is pretty much just stretching it out and sewing it in. As for the ribbon, I just kind of tied a permanent knot so that it's permanently like a little keyhole and permanently knotted. And the only thing that I can really adjust right now is how big I want the loops to be. At this point, I got the results in and most of you guys actually voted long. So I decided to keep the sleeves long, as you can see. And I think you guys have good taste. Thank you so much for your help, guys, by the way. Okay, so first things first, we gotta cut off the cuffs because I'm not about those cuffs. So just snip it off as close to the cuffs as possible because these sleeves get quite short without the cuffs. And I kind of wanted to have it as long as possible because it is supposed to be long sleeves. And I don't know if it's just like a short people thing, but I'm so used to having sleeves where it kind of like covers my whole hand like this and just having it ends right there, which I think is normal, I guess, is a little weird to me. So I tried to make it as long as possible of a sleeve. And then just sew the flaps together. If it does bother you that much that there's like a little hole there for where the button used to be, you can always cover it up with some lace or something. But at this point, I was so tired of working with lace that I was like, nope, not about that. <laughs> Too many loose ends, nope. Then just fold the sleeves over as you did for the top and the bottom of the shirt. Like this is pretty repetitive. You're doing the same thing for like every part of the shirt. And then just sew the lace on in the exact same fashion. The only difference here is that I kind of made the hem pretty short because obviously I want the length of the sleeves to be pretty long. So that's thoroughly the only difference. But other than that, you did the same thing to every part of the shirt. How simple is that? I love simple fashion DIYs. Doesn't take much brain work, doesn't take much measuring. It's so great. And then other than that, you can put it on and see how it looks. And if you like it, then that's great. If you don't like it, sorry, man, you saw the thumbnail. Like, <laughs> that's, that's the end result. All right, so hopefully you guys like this video and you guys like the shirt. I'm so happy about the shirt. I think I'm actually gonna wear it a lot. I've actually worn it twice already before I even filmed me talking like this. Cause it's just so cute and I'm so proud of it. And I've gotten so many compliments on it. Again, comment down below and let me know how the weather is where you guys are. And if you guys want me to recreate anything, just comment it down below. Either message me on Instagram or just message me on Facebook. Other than that, give me a big thumbs up if you like these videos. Subscribe if you haven't as well because hello, do you not want to see more videos? I have so many DIY videos planned and like lookbooks and everything. It's just, we're going to be pumping up some good content up in here. But yeah, I will see you guys later. Thanks for watching. Bye.